Hey kids, Pastor Smee here again for our children's message. I'm so glad that we get to, to do these every now and again. Well, as normal, I have my magic bag that I put something in it. I just grabbed the first thing that I could find and, and that I saw in my, in my room before I left uh, this morning. So let's see what we have in here. Because remember, we take this bag and normally what would happen is that you one of you would take it home and you'd put something in it. And I normally have rules around that, like you can't put a kitten in there and things like that. Nothing messy. But you bring it back and then we use it to talk about God and or Jesus. Trying to take normal, everyday things that, that we would otherwise think just pointless or stupid. And, and we use it to talk to people about God and or Jesus. Help us to see that there's things all around us that we can do that with. So, I have a bag inside of a bag. With something inside that bag. I wonder what it is. Let's look. Let's see. <gasps> oh! You ready? Yes! Yeah, I, sunglasses, right? I bet, your, I bet your family, someone in your family has sunglasses. You probably have sunglasses. Well, these are my old sunglasses. They're old because they do not have a prescription in them. If you notice, I wear glasses, right? See? I wear glasses. I need to be able to see. I can't drive without these, right? I can read without my glasses on, but I can't drive without my glasses on. And so I put these on, and yeah, it would shield my, my eyes from the sun out there and everything like that. But I can't really see that well, especially if it's nighttime. You know, why, you know, wearing sunglasses at night, I'm not going to wear them so I can see. Uh, I wouldn't be able to see that well. Well, even without it being nighttime, because I need glasses with a prescription in them and everything, I can't see that well even if I put these sunglasses on. And for some of you, you might wear glasses, or, or someday soon you might need to have glasses. Who knows? Um, well, that's the way it kind of works for us in, in the world with God and with Jesus. Because, because part of what Jesus does is he comes to us and he finds us and he takes us by the hand and he leads us so that we can see. He guides us to where we need to be. He helps us see God more clearly so that he, he takes off the, the, the glasses that, that we can't see that clearly with. He opens our eyes. There's so many stories about Jesus finding blind men and, and opening their eyes so that they can see, helping us to be able to see God and see Jesus more clearly. So he comes and he actually does that. He becomes the glasses for us that we, we put on so that we're able to see things both far away and see things near to see God, to know who he is. That's part of what Jesus does. And so we can take something as simple as a pair of sunglasses. And we can use them to talk about Jesus, about how, uh, you know, maybe for some of you, you don't need glasses, but you sure do need sunglasses outside when the sun is really bright so that you can see. Well, in that same way, Jesus is the sunglasses for us. He takes the brightness away of, of what blinds us, which, what causes us not to be able to see things, to be able to see ourselves more clearly, to be able to see God more clearly. And that is what we yearn for. That's what we desire to have. That's the reason why we come to church. That's the reason why our parents bring us to church. We need to have people who come and, and take us by the hand and say, come see this Jesus. Come be with Jesus. Come share your heart to him. Have him take hold of you and to guide you and to lead you to, to God that you might know yourself better, but also that you might know him even more, so that you might be able to love him more, so that you can love other people more. Because what ends up happening is that for us to be able to love others more, we need to have Jesus working in us to open our hearts, to open our eyes, that we might be able to love one another better, to be able to see the needs that others have, but also to be able to see our Jesus more clearly, that we might even bring other people to him that their eyes might be opened, that they might be able to see him too. Well, let us pray. God, we do ask that you would open our eyes, take us by the hand and lead us to you, that we might be able to know you more, to see you more clearly, to love you more dearly. In your name we pray. And everybody said, 
Amen. See you next time.